Hey there, welcome to episode number one of Be A Hero Gaming. This is just a quick intro video to this channel, which is gonna be about two things. Number one, all things gaming. I absolutely love board games, miniatures games, card games, role-playing games, you name it. I love to play these games, to teach these games, and to learn these games. So I wanted to share some of that with you. And uh, the second thing this channel is gonna be about is how to be a hero in real life. I mean, let's face it, guys. We play these games because we love to feel like a hero. We love the drama. We love the camaraderie of getting people around the table and uh, playing a game together. But at the end of the day, we put this away, and it's just a game. And it's what we do in real life that's going to determine uh, whether we're a hero or not. I mean, let's take a look at this guy. This guy didn't get to looking like this by sitting in his basement playing Warcry all day. He's obviously been doing some push-ups or something. And so hopefully there's something that we can do in real life um, so that we can upgrade ourselves in real life. We can level up in real life and be better human beings. Uh, so with that said, I was trying to think about what to do uh, for the first video. And I know a lot of people out there, I watch a ton of these YouTube channels, which are just awesome, full of great content that show unboxing videos and how to play and top tens and things like that. And I've got a whole bunch of Kickstarter games coming, and I thought maybe when those games start showing up, we'll bust one of those open and do an unboxing and and uh, the whole thing. But uh, I had the thought, hey, why don't you just start where you are? Where are you at right now? What are you doing? Start there. And as you can see, this set is uh, maybe not even half finished yet, and that's where I'm at. I'm putting together the Warcry Catacomb set, which uh, I've absolutely just loved so far. Um just show you a couple of these guys here. This guy here was the first one I painted. Haven't painted anything in a long time. And so painted this guy a couple of different times. His fire I went through two or three times and it still looks kind of too red maybe, but hey, you know, we learned something from painting this guy and making some mistakes. These two guys here, again, had to paint him a couple of times just to get him good enough to look uh, okay on the tabletop. And uh, that's kind of was my goal here is uh, I just wanted to play. And so once they were looking okay, we threw them down on the table and started playing. Um, my son and I have been through this game a couple of times now already and uh, have really enjoyed it because it's really a very unique set um, in the, the Warcry lineup because it comes with this dungeon terrain here that you can see. And uh, you flip the, the board over and you've got an outdoor uh, terrain set on the other side, which is pretty cool because it adds a lot of variety to the game um, that the other sets don't have. Just a couple of these here we painted up. So again, you flip it over here and you got, uh, comes with an outdoor terrain you can stick on there, which not as much as the original starter set came with, but enough to, uh, to play an outdoor battle, which is pretty cool because inside the, the Catacombs book here, they got a narrative section at the back here, which, uh, again, kind of mixes it up a little bit. We have, you know, an outdoor skirmish here, a couple inside the dungeon. This uh, narrative campaign here has got a couple outdoor ones, finishes in the dungeon. So, you know, mixes it up a little bit. All the other sets don't have anything like this. They've kind of just got one theme and that's it. And if you want a different theme, you got to buy another set. Um, again, this is a, an older set here, so it doesn't have the updated rules that it comes with. So uh, there's an updated rule book, which I think you can get this online. And so I don't even know that you really even need this. Um, really, the online rules is enough to get a couple of, of war bands here and, and work out a battle. Uh, but with that said, um, speaking of starting, I know a lot of times uh, in life, we use these games as a way to escape the problems we're facing. And again, when we put the game away, the problem's still there. And sometimes we don't really know what to do or what the next step is to work on our way through our issue. And just start. And I had that thought when I was making this video about uh, just starting with this set that's not even complete yet. I haven't even finished it yet. And you don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to know everything that's going to happen. Just take a step forward. Whatever issue you're facing, just start. And uh, things will start to come together. You'll make some mistakes. In fact, I painted the wood on these things like three different ways. You can see here that 
there's three different kinds of wood here painted for this gallows, this wall, and this bridge here. And a part of me wanted to go back and, and repaint them. I thought, maybe I should repaint this stuff so they all look the same. And I thought, nah, I'm just going to leave it. Just to show the different ways I've tried to do this, the mistakes I've made, and kind of ended up in the final product. This is one I like the best here. Um, but hey, that's how it goes, too, when we're working through an issue that uh, we're going to make some mistakes along the way. Um, we're going to start playing the game, even though it's only half finished. Um, but just start. Just do something. Move forward. And uh, if this is the kind of stuff, uh, content you guys like, you know, please uh, follow the channel, like the video, uh, throw something down in the comments, and uh, we'll start pump pumping some more content up for you guys to take a look at. But anyway, uh, take care, guys. We'll see you.